Hello, my name is Amy Ludwig Vanderwater. I am an author and teacher living in Western New York, and I am happy to welcome you to day 68 of Keeping a Notebook. Not day 69, as I say in the video, but day 68. I got my days mixed up. Glad you're here. This is Betsy the Writing Camper and her bird feeders and her pink flamingos. She loves writers and writing. Today's Keeping a Notebook chat is titled, School Supplies. Hello, writing friends. Welcome to day 69 of Keeping a Notebook. High five. And how about one from Betsy? And today we are thinking about school supplies. Our chat is titled School Supplies. And I thought about that because every year when school begins, no matter where we go to school, there are supplies to think about. Pens and pencils and erasers. And sometimes we go through our old ones. We look at new ones. Sometimes we might still have supplies in our backpacks from the year before. And when I was a young girl, I loved school supplies. I would take my pencils and pens and line them all up and line them all up and think all about the new year to come. So what I did today in my notebook is I just made a list of some school supplies I remember from my childhood. And then I wrote about some. So I remember we used to have these binders called Trapper Keepers and they had Velcro that kept them closed. I re had a Snoopy pencil box. It was plastic. I remember the pencils where you could take the leads out and put them in the front and out the back and in the front. I had some animal shaped erasers. I had a mechanical pencil when I was in middle school and I really liked it. I felt very old when I got that. Uh, the little erasers you put on pencil tops, a teeny pencil sharpener I had in my box, new scissors, um, crayon boxes. I always knew crayons were always very special and binders, compasses, protractors, and rulers for math. I was thinking all about different supplies for school at different years. And then I just let myself write about what I was thinking, remembering all of these. I did not write a poem. I just wrote some paragraphs. I can still feel myself sitting on the floor of our family room, organizing and reorganizing my school supplies. I'm not an organized person at all, but the perfection of brand new pencils full of possibility and unused erasers and a tiny assignment pad with a coil along the top, I could take them out of the box and put them back in the box over and over again. I had different kinds of pencil boxes over the years, but I mostly remember the royal blue Snoopy one. It was hard plastic, about five by eight inches, and it had a peanut sticker on the top. I probably wrote my name on there, and I can still hear the snapping sound it made when opening and closing. I remember reading a poem by a fifth grader about how an eraser at the beginning of the school year is so different than an eraser at the end of the school year, all rubbed off and used. It's so true. The new pencil or eraser or assignment pad is fresh and anything can happen. The used ones tell a story that is part way through or ending. It is like this with notebooks too. A new one just sings songs of anything. Sometimes people are afraid of new notebooks, that they're too beautiful and intimidating. I used to feel that way, but I've learned that for me, a notebook feels like home once it's a little bit of a mess. I remember the special math supplies, protractors, compasses, rulers, and new crayons. My favorite was a box of 64 crayons with the sharpener in the back. Silver was my best color, although I loved magenta and cornflower blue too. Pens and pencils and erasers. I still love these and try out different kinds. I like thinking about all the ideas still tucked into the ink of this pen I'm holding. The meadow, the snowy meadow of white paper with no word footprints yet. And then I love finishing the ink in a pen, seeing words march across the page. Yes, computers are wonderful and I use mine every day, but the feeling of a pen between thumb and fingers, nothing like it. Right now, these tool pens are my favorite. So I went up on a little bit of a, a rambling journey here thinking about school supplies and I could at any time take anything one bit from here and write more and longer about it. So I'm thinking about school supplies today. You might be. You might be thinking about something else. You might be looking at the school supplies you've had around since March when you've been home and thinking about what's to come and what was. So I'm thinking about you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a real good day today. Be well. This is a little list of some school supplies I remember fondly. I'm sure I'll be adding more there. Sometimes I wonder if I never bought or received another pen or pencil again. 
if I'd actually use up the ones I have in my lifetime. I wish you a fun time thinking about the physical supplies you use when you learn, when you write, draw, do math problems, and all kinds of things that we do with pens and pencils, erasers, and notebooks. Take good care.